In this video, we are going to use slope to make 90 degree and 180 degree rotations. Let's start by rotating point A 90 degrees clockwise around point B. So if we move from A along the circle centered at B, we get to A prime after 90 degrees. Let's compare the slopes from A to B and from A prime to B. From A to B we need to go down 5 and over 2. So the slope is negative 5 over 2. Moving left to right from B to A prime we need to go up 2 and right 5. That gives us a slope of 2 over 5. We notice these slopes are opposite reciprocals, and this makes sense because the lines connecting the points are perpendicular. So we can use slopes to help us find 90 degree rotations. So let's use slopes to help us rotate P 90 degrees counterclockwise around C. To get from P to C we need to go down 3, right 1. So the slope is negative 3 over 1, or negative 3. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals, so we know the slope from C to P prime will be positive 1 over 3. Now when I try to go up 1 over 3 from point C, I go off the grid here, but that won't be a problem here. We will reverse both of these signs and go down 1, left 3. So when we rotate P 90 degrees counterclockwise around C, we end up at negative 1, 0. Let's try one more. Rotate E 90 degrees clockwise around G. To get from E to G, we go up 3 over 2, so the slope is 3 over 2. We find the opposite reciprocal to find the slope from G to E prime. So that will be negative 2 over 3. Now if we go down 2 over 3 from G, well that point would be counterclockwise from E. So we need to reverse the slope and go the other direction. Instead of going down 2, right 3, we will go up to left 3 from G. Up 2, left 3, so when we rotate E 90 degrees clockwise around G, we end up at the point negative 5, 3. A 180 degree rotation is like doing two 90 degree rotations. Let's see what happens when we rotate E 180 degrees around G. A 180 degree rotation is halfway around the circle. So we notice that if we rotate 180 degrees around G that we end up on the same line that connected E with G. No matter where you check the slope on a, on a line it will always be the same. So the slope from G to E prime will also be 3 over 2. So when we rotate point E 180 degrees around G, we end up at the point 0, 4. Now let's rotate R 180 degrees around T. To get from R to T, we need to go down to right 4. So the slope is negative 2 fourths. We could certainly simplify that to negative 1 half. But if we use that same slope triangle to keep the distances the same and go down to right 4, we end up at the point 4, 1. Notice that our prime ends up on the same line that goes through points R and T. Finally, let's rotate W 180 degrees around Z. To get from Z to W, we go down 5, right 1, so the slope is negative 5. We'll go ahead and write that as negative 5 over 1. 
to get w prime I need to go from z up 5 and left 1. Remember that negative 5 over 1 is equal to 5 over negative 1 because they both equal negative 5. So when we rotate w 180 degrees around z, we end up at the point negative 1, 6. Hope this video about 90 degree and 180 degree rotations has been helpful. Signing off.